Welcome to Lifestyle Chiropractic. Uh, topical pain relievers offer temporary relief for minor aches and pains. They can be used for uh, back, neck, and shoulder pain, ankle, hip, elbow, joint discomfort, muscle strains from overuse. I most see these commonly with uh, my weakened warriors. They can provide temporary relief from arthritis, bursitis, um, tendonitis, uh, things like plantar fasciitis. Um, most of these over-the-counter uh, topical pain relievers contain methanol and camphor. So they usually are cool at first and then they become warm and that will allow for uh, comfortable pain relief from soreness of overworked muscles and inflammatory conditions. Um, usually we all know once we have these kind of issues to go through and use some of these things to help us uh, recover from it, but I can also suggest to users to uh, put on the gels about 15 minutes before exercise, allowing uh, it to warm the muscles uh, more effectively before you warm up. Um, you can also use it during it and uh, you can also use it afterwards to soothe tired overworked muscles. Since from these over-the-counter um, pain relief gels usually last about uh, 10 to 15 minutes and then they start to dissipate from there. Uh, I found that the best results are to apply a generous amount of this gel um, around the area of involvement and also the surrounding area. So for example, let's say I was training for a triathlon and my calf was sore, I would not only put it on my calf, but I also put it on my knee and perhaps all the way down to my ankle. Um, let's say, hypothetically speaking, that uh, I was on a guiding trip and uh, I was rowing and hurt my shoulder. Not only would I put it on my shoulder, I would also carry it halfway down into probably the upper part of my arm, on the front of my chest, and also the back near my shoulder blade and scapula. Um, Generally, what will happen is once this is applied, you tend to find the relief within two to three minutes um, after the application and can last from anywhere between one to five hours. Rarely does the skin react uh, um, after the applications, and it's a, it, most of the good products out there will actually contain skin agents to protect and rehydrate the skin of the epidural um, layers of the skin. Um, things like Arnica, Vitamin E, Echinacea, um, some even contain uh, tea tree oil. Um, I would recommend that you first try the product on a small spot before you would normally use it. Um, I had a, another product that I had the privilege of trying and I, I put it on my arm and shoulder. And uh, first of all, it burned quite a bit. And then second of all, after I, it was done burning, I went and took a shower and then the shower kicked back in the ingredients. So not only did I have a burning arm, but also where it contaminated too. There are two primary project products that I would recommend. One is called BioFreeze, and the other one is called Dr. Hoyes. Now, I, I recommend both in my office for different, a little bit of a different reason, and this is the reason why, is mainly because of the mode of application. Dr. Hoyes um, comes as a lotion. So you open it up, you put it on, once you put it on, you once again surround the area pretty thoroughly with it. Um, once it is on, to me this lasts a lot longer than BioFreeze, but it also has to do with the active ingredients. There's 5% camphor and 5% methanol in, in Dr. Hoy's, and there's 3.2% camphor only in BioFreeze. Now, with that said, they knew have, BioFreeze now has a spray that came out which actually has 10% um, camphor in it, or 10% methanol in it. Um, it has a couple other things too, so there are some advantages to that. So uh, with Dr. Hoyes, this would be primarily the one that I would recommend um, when I'm trying out or uh, when I'm training for triathlons. This is my primarily one. The other good thing about Dr. Hoyes too is that once it's on, um, it describes it, it's a good lotion. So a lot of the time you can put it on, you can massage it into the area, which is very beneficial. Um, Biofreeze has a tendency to roll. What do I mean by that? When BioFree starts to roll, it starts to get a little tacky, and when you go through and start to massage it, it'll kind of roll up. For most people, not that big of a deal, um, but can be a little bit more of an issue. Other thing that's kind of a negative effect for um, Dr. Hoy's is cross-contamination. Because it is a lotion, you have to touch it, you put it on, um, then if I wipe my eyes, or if I sweat, or I go to um, wipe the nose of, of a, a one-year-old, um, cross-contamination can occur with Dr. Royce. The other product that I have is called BioFreeze. This is BioFreeze comes as a couple different forms. One is a roll-on, so you physically don't have to touch the stuff. Um, 
you take it off, it has a nice little roll-on application. And a lot of the time, there's a lot of misconceptions. Um, with a roll-on, you actually don't roll it around in circles. What ends up happening is you end up doing it in stripes where, over the area that uh, you need to have affected. But with this, it's great for traveling. You put it on. You don't physically have to touch the stuff. You don't have to worry about contamination. And so this is a good alternative. Uh, BioFreeze also comes in a tube, very similar as a lotion. That's kind of some green jelly stuff. And this was the new one that I was talking about. It was just it comes as a spray. With the spray, it actually has a bunch of uh, natural accent or, um, extracts and um, oils in there to also help protect the skin as well. But this is actually 10% methanol, um, as opposed to as a as opposed to 3.2% with with the other forms of BioFreeze. So. Um, Depends upon the application and what you want it to use. Um, I both are fantastic products. I have an aunt that swears by BioFreeze and says, you know, if I could, I would cook with the stuff. Uh, I have other people, like most massage therapists, uh, tend to like Dr. Hoy's in order because it acts as a lotion, and won't roll up. It tends to be more user friendly with massaging. Um, so depending upon what your application, those are some of the uh, considerations that you must must make and uh, make a good choice for what activity you're being involved in involved with and uh, um, hopefully you can find a product that works best for you.